हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू मैथोजीनियस इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक्ट अबाउट लोगरिथम्स एंड वी मेड अवर ऑन लोगरिथम टेबल सो इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच दैट वीडियो फर्स्ट गो वॉच दैट वीडियो एंड देन वॉच दिस वीडियो आई विल बी ऑलवेज हेयर फॉर टीचिंग यू लोगरिथम्स सो इन दिस वीडियो I will give you a simple demonstration on how to use this logarithm table and I will show you the uses of logarithm in science and also some of the basic properties of logarithms. So, let's begin. So, for a simple demonstration on how to use the logarithm table, we will find the log of 473.7. So, if you want to perform this activity with me, Take out your logarithm table, a pen and paper and let's find the logarithm of 473.7. As you can see that we are using a base 10 logarithm table. So let's figure out what is our task. That is we have to find that power of 10 from which we can get this number. So let's see what we have to find. We know that 10 square is equal to 100 right and 10 cube is equal to 1000 so that power will be between 2 and 3 so that will be 2 point something right so this number is called the characteristic right we found the characteristic but for everything you don't have to think you have to do this 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 you will just count these and subtract one that is these are three and you will subtract one and here is two now what we have to find is this from the logarithm table so let's do that i'll put it this here and now what we have to do is this we have to look at 47 in here let's look at the 47 in here which is here i don't know you could see that this is 47 and then what you have to do is that 47 has 3 after them then you have to look at 3 in here that is 0 1 2 3 we found 3 and then you just have to find the column in which 3 is and you just have to write that number so in here that number is this 6749 so that is 2.6749 so this is not our answer we have a 0.7 after it what we have to do for that is this there is a 7 in here and we will again go to 47 from here to find a number which is front of it and which is 6. So we will add 6 in here and we will find our answer. So that is 2.6755. So this is our answer. This is the power of 10 and this is the answer for log 473.7 this is that easy so let's check our answer from a calculator okay so this is our calculator and as i told you that log to the base 10 is so much famous such that it got its own button on the calculator and that's why i talk about log to the base 10 in my both videos so let's check our answer i will write 473.7 and i will press the log here and yes our answer is right that is 2.6755 another thing i want to show is this that our log to the base 10 table was also right so i will write thousand any value and then i will press the log and yes our answer is right let's do it again for an any other value i press the log and yes our answer is right so our log to the base 10 table is also right and this is how we find the log of any number using this logarithm table this was a simple demonstration there are also complex demonstration on youtube you can watch them also 
Another thing I want to tell you is that the before point value in the answer is known as the characteristic and the after point value in the answer is known as the mantissa. And the reason due to which they don't write the before point value in the logarithm table is that they are helping us to find the mantissa. The way for finding the characteristic is very easy that is just counting the numbers and then subtracting one from them and then writing it. So this is the reason they don't write the before point value in the logarithm table. In these both videos I talked about the base 10 but there is also a very famous base which is E and whose value is this and the power of this you have to find. Okay, so let's look at some of the basic properties of logarithms. These properties are also the formulas of logarithm and they are very important. So log m plus log n is equal to log m multiplied by n. Log m minus log n is equal to log m divided by n. Log m raised to the power n is equal to n log m. Now, let's talk about the use of logarithms in science. In fact, we can say that logarithms are omnipresent in science. They are used everywhere in science. In science formulas, even this calculator is also scientific calculator, etc, etc. And the most famous place where these logarithms are used in science and to be specific in chemistry is finding the pH which is the negative log of H positive ion. Now let's use the knowledge of logarithms we have to play with this formula. Let me give you some statics first that is the pH 7 this 7 is of a neutral solution and as we know that distilled water is a neutral solution so can we calculate the pH of distilled water and get this 7 number and this is our challenge for that let me give you another statics which is the concentration of H positive ion in distilled water at room temperature is 10 raised to the power minus 7. Now we just have to chunk it in here and find our answer. Now let's put it in here that is negative log of 10 raised to the power minus 7. So now let's apply our knowledge that is log m raised to the power n is equal to n log m. So minus minus 7 log 10. So now again we have to apply our knowledge which is log 10 is 1 minus minus plus we remain with 7. So we calculated the answer and we know that it is right. So now we can apply our knowledge of logarithms to play with some basic formulas and if you got this one then you are on the right track for understanding logarithms. Basically in science, logarithms are used to present complex things like this. Instead of writing 10 raised to the power minus 7, we find write the pH which is equal to 7. So this is the use of logarithms in science and this is very important. If you understood the logarithms, try to open your chemistry book and go through the pH lesson and you will understand logarithms more better 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 because there is no end to learning logarithms. So this is the end of this video and also end of the series of the basics of logarithms. These both videos on logarithms when they adds up constitutes about 20 minutes which is a little long. So I will take the best parts of these both videos and make another video which is about 5 minutes on logarithm so that you can download it and learn from it and refresh your logarithm knowledge. So thanks for watching this video. I am your friendly neighborhood mathogenius and always remember that math is everything.